Hello, I'm Abia X Toy Cat, and if you've ever played Minecraft Java Edition, you probably recognize this world that comes from this title screen, even if it was a little bit blurry, because it was the background menu screen for Minecraft between 2011 and 2018. That's seven years worth of looking at this background screen of a world that no one had ever actually explored. That is to say, the world was loaded up once to get that screenshot, and then it was discarded, never revealed, and never found again. That is, until yesterday, when that seed was found by Tom Blacko and a team of seed finders. This is one of the most incredible stories that I just have to share with all of you and that's what we're doing today. So let's jump straight back to 1.7.3 because this was the version it was found in. So without further ado, we're going to load up the world now using this seed, that seed that was made all that long time ago, likely by someone typing in some words, but it's been reverse engineered down to the numbers and let's load up and let's see the menu screen that we all know and love from this long time ago, but let's see it in 2020. So I'm kind of excited and part of that is because I'm playing such a weird old version of Minecraft and it's weird to find such a discovery from a while ago, but that's fine because I know that just uh, 50 to 100 blocks away from spawn, clearly some Minecraft developer was playing around and was just looking around when they found this particular set of blocks. Because if you head about 50 to 100 blocks away from spawn, as some Minecraft developer did many years ago, um, and you head over this little hill over here, indeed over some weird mildly glitchy terrain, but we'll, we'll, we'll forgive old Minecraft for that mistake, as well as for the, <laughs> the fact that one high water wasn't enough to stop you from taking damage. These are all fine things because Minecraft has some chill music playing, because what we're here for is this picture right here. Something that until yesterday, until Tom Lacko and the seed finding team uh, went through and found, had not been played most likely since 2011. Think about that one for a moment, by the way. This world was loaded up in the middle of 2011 sometime and then most likely what was going to happen is as soon as they discarded the world and they stopped playing it that world was never to be explored again by anyone because of the sheer number of seeds on Java um, the odds of anyone else ever coming across this randomly are so insanely low it might as well be uh, you know discountable which means that basically no one was ever going to load up the seed again unless they did some seed searching and that's what happened nine years later to allow us to be in this very spot that Notch or Jeb or any other Minecraft developer that did this, we still don't really know for sure, um, was in, and that is the beauty of this, in my opinion. Just, there's something surreal about seeing this. And it's weird because even though it's a pretty unique Minecraft seed for the time, I mean, look, there's this little tree floating on an island that was clearly notable enough that they decided to say, you know, let's throw that on the background screen. Um, you can see how it's a very weird lake with a lot of islands on it. It's an interesting enough seed that like, you know, has some merits. If you are playing beta 1.7.3, boy, do I have a seed to recommend for you. <laughs> but the interesting thing about how this moment was created nine years later, the interesting thing about finding this seed is not so much necessarily just the, oh yeah, here's the terrain again, but it's the fact that it is that exact same thing somehow found against all odds. As we all know, Minecraft Java Edition has this two to the power of 64 seeds, which is this much when you write it out in normal characters. It's such a long number that I can't say in this video without wasting 20 seconds of your life. So let's just say a big number of seeds, so many so that if you try to load up 10 thousand Minecraft seeds every minute for the rest of your life, which is impossible by the way, you still wouldn't find it even if you could perfectly know what to look for and look around a few hundred blocks in each world, basically meaning you wouldn't be able to find this without machines, right? And even with machines, you have to search so many seeds that it shouldn't be possible whatsoever. However, because of, uh, you know, the seed searching, uh, you know, endeavors that have been going on, one of the things that they've been trying to do is look for specific things in specific seeds. If you see a screenshot of me standing right here looking at this bird tree and that little island, the odds are you'd never be able to find this seed again. But if you were using computers and you could rebuild this block for block, you could know that there's a few blocks of grass over there. You could know there's a birch tree here. You can know there's some gravel in that wall and you can know the exact formation of this mountain. With enough computing power, you would be able to make a little snapshot of what you're looking for in a Minecraft world. And if you had the power, you would be able to find that. But we're talking about insane amounts of power and insane amounts of time that no one would be willing to do for my generic screenshot of my birch tree tree next to my grass block, which again, we're on the same seed, next to my gravel, old gravel by the way, it's so weird to go back to this, right? Um, but that's not what we're talking about, we're talking about a very specific image that people were dedicated to find, which is why a lot of people, in fact, um, at least 93 volunteers uh, put their computing time down into this machine, something called Minecraft at Home. This is a program set up by Thomas Lacko to distribute that load, distribute that intense process of searching as many Minecraft seeds as possible to look for a given object. There are many reasons 
reasons to do this. One of them is looking for tall cactuses. One of them is looking for pack.png. If you know Salsi one, you know what we're talking about with that. But like there are certain things that they're looking for in Minecraft seeds. Um, it has basis to do with speed running. It has to do with like curiosity as well as to do with dumb challenges. Again, like finding the tallest cactus in Minecraft. But um, again, leaving that to the side, the fact is you can. Uh, there are tools that are being made to search individual Minecraft seeds at insane rates. At the rates of not hundreds per minute, but hundreds or thousands per second. I know this won't mean too much to everyone else, but it was confirmed in the same post where they revealed that this was in fact found, uh, that the research that this took was 54.5 exaflops of power. So a flop, a, you know, a single flop, not an exaflop, would be a, uh, you know, like one floating point operation, one calculation, in other words, being performed. So that means that 54 exaflops would be 54 quintillions. So we're talking one followed by, you know, it's a big number that's on screen. Again, it's, it's hard to show off all those numbers and mention them. And you, you know, your brain gets lost between billion, trillion, and uh, you know, <laughs> quadrillion and quintillion. But I assure you, that was a lot of calculations that were done. A lot of people signed up. And as a result, this thing was found. And after all these years, the same seed was loaded up. Or was it? I mean, it sounds like a really great story of how we found the exact same seed. And there is that emotional attachment of like, yeah, after all these years, we... Why did I take damage that time? After all these years, um, we're finally coming back to this beautiful Minecraft seed, and it sounds like that. And when you see this image of me standing here, seeing the same cliff with the same tree, there's no way that's not true, right? But it's a bit more complex than that. And just to prove that, here is a second seed, which again is very distinct from the first. I'll show you the first one again on screen right now so you can confirm they are in fact um, different. But here is a different seed that was also found within that same 24 hours that as you can see gives you the exact same spawn area. It's suspiciously similar. Until we head over here and suspiciously, despite being a very different seed, it starts to look very similar. Are you getting deja vu or is that just me? And then we stand over here and what do we notice? It's the same island, the same three islands in fact, or four if you count this one too. The same little wall with the thing, uh, you know, the thing next to it. The same gravel over there. And even if we go back to my previous position where, uh, you know, that birch tree was, you'll notice how that will be the same as well, down to the block. The interesting thing about Minecraft seeds that kind of uh, results from this is you realize that there are multiple seeds that will have the same or pretty much the same generation next to the same because of how they interact with the game files. Because when you've got 18 quintillion seeds like Minecraft Java does, um, these details can line up exactly perfectly on multiple seeds. There are just so many seeds that some of them have to be identical and some of them will be identical, even ignoring programming errors. And that's, again, before we consider the fact that there are going to be some errors in how the seeds are you know, uh, calculated, which means a lot of seeds will have the same outcome. And therefore, because there are two seeds, and because there are likely many more that just weren't found because not all of Minecraft seeds have been searched. In other words, um, there are many other seeds that could have been that one that was used for the panorama all those years ago. This video is not here to be a downer and to be like, oh yeah, we found the seed, except not really. And you know, like again, I don't wanna steal Tom Lacko's thunder by implying that that's not what's happened because this isn't actually a big demonstration to say we found that world from nine years ago. It's such a cool thing to think about. It's such a wonderful thing to be like, we found it, we found the one thing because it's more impressive. It's going to get a lot of clicks. Again, if uh, uh, the, the Reddit post has 52,000 upvotes and it's been a huge story over gaming news media and most people look at it to be that surface deep thing. But the much more impressive thing here, what is actually being announced by this image right here, which matches the Minecraft background. Actually, should we just look at the Minecraft menu screen for the rest of this? I'm down. Here is Minecraft 1.0.0 and in the background of that is that exact place I just was. And it's interesting because the entire time, there's just like vague background that you don't really think about too much, but you always see it and you always know it when you, uh, you know, spot it. Um, that background was off a version of the game from before when that came out, so that's interesting. But the much bigger explanation here, the much bigger find is that there is now a tool that can take a particular image, can take a particular uh, worldview, take a particular thing that you're looking at and can find it in a Minecraft seed. Obviously, there are going to be lots of versions of that, no matter how specific your criteria are. For instance, um, there is a one in a trillion chance having a 12 IF Ender portal um, be your closest portal to spawn in Minecraft Java, and there are 18 quintillion seeds, which means 
In other words, there are going to be, I think that's millions if I do the maths right. The numbers are so big, it's generally hard to tell. There's 18 million seeds that have 12 eye offenders, a complete, uh, you know, end portal, but yet we've only found a few so far because of just how, uh, you know, how specific you can be. You don't just have to look for 12 eye offenders as well as a close never fortress as well. You know, you can pick any number of things and in Minecraft Java where there are this many combinations, you can find that. And that is what the seed finding total has proven. The dedicated community of people that put this together that managed to make this possible, I, I just have to say, it's insane, it blows my mind, and uh, to the people who did that, that is impressive. But I just want to be clear to everyone watching that this isn't, uh, again, it's, it's a very much semantical difference, so you don't need to think about it too much, but really what this is demonstrating is the fact that Minecraft seed finding has gone so far from the days where you could just be like, this is kind of cool terrain, I guess, or the 404 challenge even, um, which was in the same version, by the way, 1.7.3. Um, seed finding has gone so far from 2011 that even now we can go back to 2011, seed find in those versions, and manage to find something this specific. And that is very promising for the world of Minecraft Java seed finding and for the world of where this leads the speedrunning game in the future, for the world of where this leads if you want specific terrain in the future. And um, yeah, the uh, as someone who cares a lot about seeds, I'm excited. Maybe you are too. Maybe you're not in the slightest. But just for now, I wanted to say thank you for watching. Welcome to your doom because I'll see you all in the next one. Because, you know, this was just a fun little video. I wanted to talk to you about something that's important to me uh, and maybe important to you or maybe important to no one. You know what? I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see um, the latest in Bedrock seed finding, there's been a seed that's found that makes everything repeat. It's pretty cool. It's a big technical error. And soon, there may be more. That's the possibility. And also, there's another search um, that Saucy one has been doing forever, uh, looking for the pack.png image. I, when you go to a server and it has no... You know, it's not there right now, apparently. But there is an image in the game code that they're looking for. It's very interesting. There's a whole, there's a whole fun thing about Mojang people just taking screenshots in random worlds and people trying to like backfind them. And I find it interesting. And maybe that's just me being weird. But you know what isn't weird? You watching this video and hopefully choosing to subscribe if you liked it. Anyway, goodbye. So while we're talking about the past anyway, here's a crazy reminder of how caves used to look in the far gone days of, uh, you know, 2014. Can you imagine? Such a crazy long time ago. And here's what caves look like now. I mean, it's it's crazy how far they've come. It's crazy what a change they've made in the last six years in one of the biggest games, in a game called Minecraft. And I just wanted to remind you all that in the time since all of this has gone down, Minecraft caves have changed significantly. And don't let anyone convince you otherwise, because we all know memes are more trustworthy than people.